Hey, Chevin, um, a lot of times when uh, you go up into altitude, um, uh, the, the thin air sort of dries out your hands or it makes the ball kind of sail. Was that a factor today, um, the drier, the, the, the air? Or... Um, I mean... Because it looked like the ball slipped out of your hand on the pass and it, or, or the attempt to pass. I was just wondering, was it the dry I mean, air? It was, it was slippery, but I mean, there's no excuses. Did you make any adjustments to the grip or did you make any adjustments for the grip? Like did you moisten your hands or do anything like that? Any adjustments with your grip? Um I just well, I mean, in the beginning I put in the uh, the hand warmers and it just made my hands sweaty, and I, I felt like that put me slippery. But again, I'm not. There's no excuses. Uh, um, I need to perform better, and I know I'm gonna get better. Um, Shevin, what do you think the team learned about itself um, during this one-one road trip? What did you learn from this road trip? Um. I mean, we just gotta. I mean, during the week, we just gotta stay more, um, stay focused. Uh, I mean, during practice, we just kind of running around. Uh, we just gotta be more focused. Um, be more disciplined and just practice harder. Um, just out of curiosity, um, when's the last time um, you lost a game you started at quarterback? Do you think? Um. Shoot. I think it was in like, I don't know. I have no idea, to be honest. It was a long time ago. Yeah. Was it a factor playing in, in a, uh, a stadium where there are some fans in there as opposed to the previous week where there's nobody there? Or? Playing in front of fans this week compared to last week, did it make a difference? Uh, it didn't make any difference. Uh, again, it's just the way um, we practice during the week. Uh, we got to practice harder, uh, be more focused, um, especially me. Um, I mean, uh, I know I'm going to get better. Um, I'm going to learn from this. I'm going to learn from this loss. We're all going to learn from. We're all going to learn from this loss, and we're going to. We're going to get better for next week. Tell us about the pastor boy. Can you repeat that? Or, or repeat that. Can you tell us about the pass to Zion. What it was like to finally be able to hook pass up with to Zion, the long forty-six yard. Um, I mean, the, I mean, the offensive line gave me time. Um, I mean, Zion ran around a good route, and I just tried to give him a chance. And, uh, oh, well, uh, coach, it was just a matter, of just like a big battle out there, physical game and everything. Well. What were you seeing with that that offensive line of theirs? It seemed like they they just put a a lot of pressure on you guys with their strength. Offensive line. What did you think of their offensive line? Offensive line was a they were a talented group. You know they were a big big old group group of guys and they were they were coming after it. very physical dudes. Christian, do you have a question? Um, uh, yes, um, Darius, um, this week of preparation, I know there was some hiccups for you guys, like not being able to have practices at certain times. Um, how much did you say um, that affected you guys um, today? Uh, you know, it shouldn't have affected us. You know, we should always be ready, no matter what, uh, what the circumstances is. You know, rough, rough times make uh, tough people, you know, so. Uh, it's just that this other team, Wyoming, came out prepared, and they're a well-coached team, and we just got outplayed today. Um, I know it's your second week um, in a row leading the team in tackles, um, you know, in six days. How are you feeling physically, and um, how eager are you to get home? How are you feeling physically? Uh, my body my body is exhausted, you know. You know, the usual after every game, everyone's body should be exhausted, you know, giving it a year off. But, um, Coming into next week, you know, I, I'm just, I'll be in the trainers, getting my body right, 
and uh, we're just looking forward to New Mexico now. The short-term memory of this this game and moving on. What was it like trying to tackle number six? What was it like tackling the running back? Uh, they're a tough, uh, very strong, strong runners. Uh, low center of gravity, but uh, you know, I just try to tackle their legs. That's what we, the game plan was, you know, just uh, tackle low, tackle their thighs. But they're strong runners, tackling, I mean, uh, breaking tackles. They broke a lot of tackles today and results. That's where it resulted into their wisdom today. Do you guys have any more ready to, uh, yeah, you're ready to get home. I know it's been a been a long trip. Uh, just ready for a home opener next week. I know with no fans, but yeah, just to get back uh, back on the field. You know, it's always good to be home. Uh, finally, we have our, our uh, home opener uh, against New Mexico. You know, uh, we'll, we'll be uh, more than well prepared for that team, and we're just coming into this week with uh, with the right mindset and getting ready for New Mexico.